Welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the tools complement to perform binary subtractions. So we have two examples. The first example is where you're subtracting a smaller number from a bigger one. And then the second example is where you subtract a bigger uh, number from a smaller. So let us start from the first one. So in this case, the first thing to do is to get the tools complement of the number you're subtracting or rather uh, the subtrahend. So we get the twos complement of one zero 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 two. So this is how you do it. You invert the digits so that where there is a one you put a zero and where there's a zero you put a one and then you add one to that. So in this case if we invert this we're going to have zero one 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 then you add one to that so this is one plus one that is zero thirty one one plus one that is zero thirty one then one plus one is zero thirty one then one plus zero is one so this is the truth complement of the subtrahend or the number you're subtracting so the next step will be to add this particular truth complement to the minwind or the number you're subtracting from. So we're going to take one zero zero one. Then we add that to the two's complement of the subtrahend. So one plus zero is one. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. And then we have one plus one, which is just zero carry one which would be that. But now, since both the minwind and the subtrahend have got four digits, you must also have an answer with the same number of digits. So what you do, you just drop the carry. That is the last carry you have, so that your answer is zero, 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 one, base two. Then in the second case, we have a case where the subtrahend is bigger than the minwind. That is, you are subtracting a bigger number from a smaller one. So the first thing you need to do is just get the two's complement of the subtrahend, the number you are subtracting, like in this case. So as we did in the first one, that will involve inverting this and then adding one to it. So where there's one, you write zero, and where there's zero, you write one. In our case, we only have ones. So it means we're going to have zero, 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 zero. Then we add one so that we get the two's complement, and that will be one, zero, zero, zero. So the next step is just to add this particular two's complement of the subtrahend to the minor. So we'll have one, 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 zero, plus zero, 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 one. So you'll have zero plus one, which is one. One plus zero is one, one, one. So that is what you get after you've added uh, the two's complement of the subtrahend to the minor end. So in this case, since uh, the subtrahend is bigger, or since you are uh, subtracting a bigger number uh, from a smaller one, you are going to again get the two's complement of the result. So the next step is to get the two's complement of the result, that is one, 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 one. So the two's complement of this will just be zero, 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 plus one, so that would be one, zero, zero, zero. You get that. And then now the answer will be this, but with the negative sign. So you'll have minus zero, 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 one, base two.